is intercepted. Welcome to the 2022 Draft Position Preview Series. Ethan Greenberg, Eric Allen, and Caroline Hendershot breaking down options for the Jets at all positions. Today, we're talking safety. So let's start with everyone's number one prospect at the position. That's Notre Dame's Kyle Hamilton EA. A lot of people, or some people, think he's the best prospect overall in this year's class. He's a big dude. He's long, and he's long on talent. Special player. Could be the most talented player in this entire draft class. He can play single high, you can throw him in the box, he can play over the slot. He is a guy who can line up like a big linebacker. High football IQ, last season three interceptions for the Fighting Irish. They say he's a total package. Instincts, awareness, athleticism. Kyle Hamilton's got a little bit of everything. Yeah, and he's got great length, like you said, 6'4", 220. The one thing to keep in mind here, feels like the knock has really come in the last couple months. Didn't run as fast as people thought he would at the combine, at his pro day. Something to keep an eye on as draft day rolls up here. So let's move to the Big Ten. If the Jets want Kyle Hamilton, probably got to take him at 4 or 10. These two guys, these next guys that we're talking about, Dax Hill, let's start there. Real hybrid player out of Michigan. The Jets might have a shot at him at the top of the second. Dax Hill, really impressive. Love his versatility, hybrid safety, can play nickel, super athletic. In the NFL world right now, teams are going to throw a lot. Dax Hill is a guy who's not going to come off the field on the next level because not only can he be, he can be effective at the slot position and safety, but he also can get after the quarterback. He's a really good blitzer. Two interceptions and eight PDs last season. He finished second on that Michigan defense with 69 tackles. And he got in the backfield. Four and a half tackles for loss, four career interceptions. And speaking of his athleticism, this is a sub 4-4 guy. He's getting a lot of momentum, I think, as we get closer to draft weekend. I definitely think so. I don't think it would be a surprise to hear this guy, Dax Hill, to hear his name called at the back half of round one. Similarly to this next guy, also in the Big Ten, Jaquan Brisker, who played a little banged up this past season. Another very good tackler, five and a half tackles for loss, just the third defensive back in school history since 2000 to do so. Yeah, Brisker's a guy, maybe we hear his name at the top of the second round, played 34 games. At Penn State, 153 tackles, nine and a half tackles for loss, five interceptions, 14 PBUs. Uh, he was a captain last season for the Nittany Lions, five and a half tackles for loss and two interceptions. Probably more comfortable coming downhill, but he's a prospect to watch once we get to the second day, I think. I definitely think so as well. And, you know, Jaquan Brisker and Dax Hill, both in that, like, back half round one, top round two, like you said. Another guy right there, that's George's Lewis Seen. And for more on him, let's hear from Caroline. Lewis Seen has the most interesting journey of any of the 2022 NFL draft prospects. Seen was born to a single mother in Haiti, but moved at four years old and grew up in Florida. He didn't start playing football until his next move to Boston, Massachusetts. That's where his football career really took off and he became Massachusetts Defensive Player of the Year. But when his coach in Massachusetts retired at the end of his junior year, Seen then moved to Texas and enrolled in Trinity Christian School to continue working towards that dream. And boy did that work in his favor because there, he was coached by Hall of Famer Deion Sanders, became one of the top recruits in Texas, and then the University of Georgia came knocking. So with the fifth state he lived in, Seen became an All-American and was named the 2022 Defensive MVP at the National Championship. So not only is Seen able to play in any part of the world or any state, he's able to do so at an elite level. So wherever Lewis Seen ends up, he's sure to make an impact. And if that's with the Jets, he's sure to make an impact here with the green and white, despite what the Jets have done in free agency. We'll talk about that in a minute. I feel like it's only right to wrap up with a pair of senior bowl guys, right? Both safeties, both Baylor Bears. Let's wrap up the safety talk with both Jalen Petrie and JT Woods, EA. Not only do they play down there in Mobile, Alabama, they suited up for the Jets staff. Petrie, 5'11", 198 pounds. Not the biggest guy, but he was the Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year in 2021. Student of the game, eight sacks, four interceptions, 10 PDs, four forced fumbles, three formal recoveries, two touchdowns. So this is a guy who's a stat stuffer. JT Woods, his teammate at Baylor, five interceptions last season. So he was a ball hawk. And the thing that you like about Woods, natural athlete, four, three, six speed and the 40 yard dash, high vertical jump, 
does he have a higher ceiling than his Baylor teammate? Uh, oh, Pete, boy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying pure athleticism. You like what Woods did taking the football away. But Petrie, he's kind of a puzzle piece. You can move them all across the board. Yeah, Dane Brugler said he's kind of like a Where's Waldo piece in that Baylor defense. Both had great weeks for the Jets down in Mobile. But, you know, we talked about this earlier. The Jets did add a couple veterans, and they have some young players in the mix, too, at safety. So, Caroline, where do Jets fans stand in terms of adding a safety in the draft? Well, these poll results are interesting, you guys. Far and away, with 44%, most fans said, yes, draft a safety on day two. But then the majority of the rest of the votes are kind of torn between about 21% with yes at day three and 26% say no, don't draft a safety at all. So I don't know, that second group of the votes are kind of torn. And I feel like that second group of the votes, Caroline, is kind of like what we talked about when you look at Dax Hill, Jaquan Brisker, Lewis Seen, Jalen Petrie. Those are the guys who could be available at the top of the second round. But do you also think that Jets fans have a good pulse right now in terms of the safety position? Well, the Jets have a lot of flexibility now after what they did in free agency. They re-signed LaMarcus Joyner. Unfortunately, he went out in week one last year, but they thought enough of him to re-sign him in the free agency period. And then the big addition externally was Jordan Whitehead, 25 years old. He already has a championship ring, playoff experience. He potentially could be a tone setter for Robert Sala's defense. So the Jets start the draft process in good shape at the safety position, but they're always looking to add at all positions. That's very true. And the Jets also re-signed Will Parks at the safety spot as well. And that's how we wrap up this position preview. And for more analysis on different positions, stay right here on NewYorkJets.com.